now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Max Goldwasser. Good morning, Central Oregon. A happy Wednesday to you waking up on post-election day with plenty of results still coming in. So we'll have a ton of that exciting news as we continue to get it. But there are so, there's some exciting news with our weather, too, if you like. Uh, some rain and some snow, which we should be expecting uh, over the next couple of days. But before we get there, today and tomorrow, temperatures will continue to be above average. In fact, where we top out at today will be right very close to 70 degrees. But then some clouds start to roll back in really mainly tomorrow is when we'll see those clouds roll back into the region bringing with them chances for both rain and snow ahead and we'll see that on the future track in a second here you can see parts of that system here to our northwest mainly in the Portland area uh, Washington getting hit hardest by uh, the storm system as it's moving through right now but you can see here in central Oregon uh, just mostly clear skies only a few clouds at the moment this is what it should be uh, for most of the day today but then those changes start to pick up after today. You won't see much happen once again as Wednesday rolls on, but then you'll see in the early hours of Thursday is when those clouds start to coat, uh, come over down and across the region and that storm system initially hanging out in the Cascades for much of the day on Thursday. The first places that are probably going to be hit with some rain uh, would be Madras because that's the direction where that storm system is coming from. Uh, also places like Sisters, again, right next to where that storm system is hanging out in the beginning of the day on Thursday. Thursday, giving us about a 40 to 50% chance to see uh, rain at that point. But then you can see it covers the rest of Central Oregon as Thursday rolls on. In fact, you start to see some other colors. Green would indicate chances for rain. Blue would be indicating chances for snow. And pink is a rain-snow mix. So you can see along the Cascades, we're probably going to get some snow at this point as early as Thursday evening. And then some places like Sisters and Lapine hanging out in the higher elevations could see snow as early as tomorrow evening as well, but that really won't start until uh, overnight between Thursday and Friday. So I wouldn't expect any snow to fall in Sisters or Lapine in town in Central Oregon until we get to about 4 a.m. on Friday morning. Then that's when that snow could start to fall and essentially stays with us in those two places through next Tuesday. Uh, we could see chances for snow in both Lapine and in Sisters. For the rest of us, our chances for snow essentially come just Friday evening and Saturday evening when our temperatures are going to be dropping drastically. And you'll see that in the seven day when I show you that in just a second here. But our forecast lows, even on Saturday especially, could get down into the teens, which would be a huge change from obviously where we're starting the week compared to where we're likely going to be finishing it. Our winds are going to be pretty strong in the meantime as well. Here's where we are going to be later on today with winds coming out of the south to the southeast. Uh, then it dips off just a bit as we get overnight between uh, Wednesday and Thursday, but those are going to really pick up just a few hours later Thursday morning. You can see 19 miles an hour in Madras, 14 in Prineville. Uh, wind speeds are going to stay strong for a bit after that, but then as we get to Friday and overnight into Friday, wind speeds are going to be calm, but then picking back up even earlier on Friday than where they started getting a little bit stronger on Thursday as well. Double digits for about half of the region, and they're probably going to stay fairly strong on Friday as well. Temperatures across the region in the 40s and 50s for most of us. Lapine, though, uh, sitting there still in the 30s. Uh, we're all going to have a huge warm-up later on today when we hit our forecast highs. Here's a look at those forecast highs up in Jefferson County. I told you very close to 70 for some of us and the others are going to actually get into the low 70s. Same goes for Crook County uh, for some of us getting into the low 70s like Prineville, uh, but then Powell Butte uh, hitting the high 60s and then Deschutes County. Again, the same story uh, essentially spread out into the 60s. However, no one is quite going to get all the way into the 70 degrees here in Deschutes County, but you can see we're just right around that mark. And then our temperatures, as I've been explaining, are going to drop drastically as we get into the weekend as those chances for rain and snow come into the region and those mostly clear skies and warm temperatures leave. That's been a look at your weather. We'll be right back.